In this video we'll take a look at the new and improved Corona 6 sky system and as a bonus I'll show you how you can move the sunlight exactly like in real life. So let's go! Okay, so I've got here a very basic scene with just one simple plane with a displacement and a Corona camera. Now let's add a new Corona Sun. I'm going to click and drag and move it up a bit. Going into the settings, click on the Add Corona Sky Environment. Once we did that, we're going to go to the Environment tab and let's drag the new Sky Environment map. As you can see, we have the sky mode set to the new improved version, which comes in Corona 6. But let's first make test render with the older version and then see the difference. Another thing to notice is that we have a sun selection. In some occasion, I use more than one sunlight in, uh, in one scene, so I could have different direction of sunlight. So in that case, I would set it to automatic instead of the manual option. So let's go into the camera view and hit render. First off, let's decrease the exposure value. By the way, as you can see, I have a, a volume uh, material effect going on here, just to make things a bit nicer. And let's reposition our sun so we could see it in the camera view. All right, let it render a bit. And now we're gonna go into the history tab. I'm gonna store the current view. And going back to the sky environment map, we're going to change it to the new improved version. Alright, so this was the old one and this is the new one. We can see the difference in the color of the sky. Now the change is very noticeable when we lower the sun position, like in sunset situation. Let's increase a bit the exposure. Let's store it. Let's change it to the older one. Now we can see a major difference between the old one and the new one. When we compare it, we can see that the old version doesn't look real at all in this kind of situation. And now if we lower the sun below the horizon, we should have almost black sky right now. And obviously we don't get it in the old version, but let's change it to the new one. As you can see, we get much more realistic result. Now, if I increase the exposure, we're gonna have a very nice bluish sky. We can use it even for a night scene without the need of a special HDRI. Let's just turn off the global volume material for now. So this is the new version and this is the old version. It's like day and night, literally. Okay, so after we covered the sun and sky system, now let's see how we can position our sun in an accurate way like in real life. We can set a specific location on every point on earth. We can set a date and the hour. Let's go to the... So we need to go to the system tab. And we're going to add the default 3ds max daylight. I'm going to click and drag, decrease the size of our compass and we can go ahead and set it up. First of all, I want to deactivate the sun itself and the skylight. We're only going to use it to set the corona sun position and let's go inside the setup. I can set first of all my uh, location. I can go to Google Earth or Google Maps, check for my latitude and longitude parameters. I can change the north direction and I can set the date, the time zone and the hour. All right, after I did that, I'm going to simply align my Corona Sun. Click on Align, click on the System Sun, make sure it's pivot to pivot and all axes are selected. Let's do the same for the target. Select the target of the Corona Sun and align it to the compass. So now it's aligned. The next thing we need to do is to link the two. So I'm going to select the Corona Sun, click on select and link, and I'm going to click and drag and link it to the System Sun. So now whenever I move my, my System Sun, and let's go to the setup, gonna change the hour so for example this is the 
My sun now is in the middle of the sky at, at 12 p.m. Now let's change the sun position and you can obviously animate it if you want to do let's say a time lapse. So this is 7 p.m. and this is 8 p.m. and you can kind of get the idea.